Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amun Shaktivel. In this video, we will see about how we can manage our passwords very easily with the help of Gitcrypt. Right. So in test automation, we have a lot of problems in managing the secrets. Maybe it's the username, password, or if we want to try to uh, hit some databases, we want to ma maintain those database related uh, details. You know, these kind of things are basically secrets, right? We cannot expose it to the outside world. So what is the biggest problem in test automation? We are not only having one or two. Uh, normally, if there is only one or two, we can manage them using passing it as a Maven command line arguments are from the Jenkins as an environment variable. But in real time, this is not going to be the case. There are at least 20 to 30 different set of test data because we have to run our test in different environments. So it, it, it is still making our life very hard, right? So this approach uh, of maintaining the secrets or passing the secrets from uh, Jenkins or whatever the CACD tool that you are using is is okay to some extent but you know we cannot extend this to you know manage multiple secrets or multiple different environments again i have already covered a video on how we can manage multiple environments using owner library if you haven't watched that please do watch that that forms the basis to to continue further with this particular video right so let's see how how this git script works and how how we it can make our life very easy in managing the secrets right so without wasting much time let me get into the IntelliJ workspace, right? So this is a very simple uh, project that we have used to manage multiple environments. So I have a uh, different set of resources here. So if you notice, I have configured properties, I have dev URL, uh, dev username, and then staging URL, and then staging password. Maybe you can also add DB details or whatever. So we have a lot of property files and all these information here are basically uh, secrets. So most probably people will send it as a Maven command line or humans or Jenkins parameters. But what we are going to do now is we're going to encrypt this, right? Again, guys, writing and own code to uh, encrypt and decrypt in Java is going to be a difficult task. So that's why we're going to use something called as decrypt. So this is a very simple process. So I have already pushed this to my GitHub repository. If you have been following my GitHub repository for a very long time, please do that. So I have pushed it now. And if you notice, it has a step-by-step -step guide on how we can, we are going to do this, right? So first there is a link setup guide. Just click on that. It will take you to this particular page from the uh, Hiroko. So uh, like this is actually created for developers. So we can ignore the first section where they are passing some environment variables from the Hiroko. Uh, so now, uh, this is where the real stuff starts. So the grid, go to the Git group section and install the Git group. So based on your operating system, this might vary, but if it is a Mac, it's going to be very simple with the group uh, package manager. So what I have done is I have already installed the group within my machine. So I don't need that. So let me open this in a terminal. Maybe I don't want this default terminal. I go to the finder uh, and they, basically I created them. Okay. And uh, let me do see this body got yeah. So once I go to this particular tree, I can do the LS to check whether everything is there. Yes, all good. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to, uh, I already have installed this, right? So I don't, I don't go to execute this particular step. Again, guys, if you're using Windows, please follow this particular page in order to install it for the Windows. Uh, yeah, now I have already done, uh, installed this, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, and then what they are telling, create a new Git repository. In my case, I already have the Git repository with this, okay? So if you actually go and see here, I have this .git package here. So which basically indicates I already have done the git in it. And then I have made some comments and all that because I have to push this code to the remote, right? So I have already done that. If not, please do do the git initiation. Once this is all done, uh, next step for us is to basically create some project. You know, they are creating some project, dummy project, but we already have the project with us. So we can also do, you know, ignore this. And this is the where the main step starts. So git crypt in it. So this is a particular first step that we want to do. So get crypt in it, okay? So this basically going to generate you a key, okay? Once this is generated a key, they are telling, hey, before doing anything else, please run the following command of this, right? Just copy this. I'll, I'll explain what this does. And uh, maybe I'll also maximize this even bit. So let me paste this. So what they are doing is, 
it will generate a key called uh, export uh, with key so what i'm doing i'm just moving this one folder above the root folder for example i am currently in this uh, uh, multiple environment stuff right so this will basically create a key inside the idea projects right so that's where i am going to show the key because if we keep it inside the project when we push it to the you know git so this might also be accessible to others so we won't, don't want to do that so that's the reason we are keeping it one uh, folder above it so that it can also be used to manage uh, secrets in other projects in, under idea projects so yeah so you can do this you can also do the copy command from so in the next command they would have explained hey by default git script stores the generated file in this particular location you could also achieve the same result by doing the copy command from this location to the uh, folder one folder above the project directory so you can do either of this but for us it is very simple to run this command so we will do the next so once this is done it would have generated a, uh, a key there so maybe uh, we can basically see it and uh, this is not yeah so if you notice there is a git key that is generated today right so once this is all done what we can do uh, we need to tell uh, the git crypt which files we need to encrypt right that is very important for us so what they are telling hey uh, we we do that by using dot git attributes file like how we have git ignore where we tell which files to be need to ignore this files going to hold which uh, you know property file that we going to encrypt so just create this file let's go we can use the command line to create it but for simply reasons you will go here and i create a new file and this file is git attributes okay and this git attributes i want to add it to the git repository that's fine and what they are telling say you just need to do this okay what is a file pattern you want to do and use this okay so here they have given us clearly information this is api key api dot key file is what they are trying to encrypt in our case it is config dot properties staging dot properties and dev dot properties right and then we will copy this right we'll copy this and then we'll paste it here right here instead of api dot key we just need to tell config dot properties and then we can also add dev config dot properties staging config dot properties but if you notice there is a uh, suffix that is all we want to encrypt all the properties files so we can also use while calls like star dot properties so we are trying to encrypt all the star dot properties file okay that's fine but these are not present in my root directory right so then how will you do that so we can basically tell uh, src test resources slash so these are all present inside the src test resources folder and i want to encrypt all the uh, property file right so this is what i want to do so once this is done you can basically go to the next step and what they are doing uh, you create that file add it and commit to your git repository which i have already done okay that's the reason why i have used intellij because it will automatically do the uh, addition and commit let me also check whether this is committed so yeah this is basically added attributes okay and then i'll do that so now this is done and at the end uh, it's all good we have already done this so let's check whether this is working because we have committed everything right so let's do git crypt status to check how whether this what and all stuff that are git crypted so i can just tell git crypt status okay so i have been so cd multiple environment because i went to the root directory before and now i am in the correct folder git type on crypt status yeah so now if you notice it has clearly told hey i have encrypted this right but what it is telling staged or committed version is not encrypted okay so because we have already staged or you know committed the code that code might be in repository now that is not encrypted maybe while we do the git commit now so this might be encrypted right so very first time when you push the configuration dot properties 
comment it okay but for now what we have to do we have to do some changes in this uh, configured property so that it will again we can commit it and push it right so let's go there and let's also make some changes okay maybe i'll add some changes here okay and then some changes here. okay once we do this let's uh refresh this and let's also pick all this and modify it over whatever and then commit it commit it again it's all committed now and let's try to run it again yeah this is good it's still encrypted but this time this can uh this warning message is called good once this is all done let's go again and check okay we also got the results this is absolutely fine then it is telling um you know if you want to confirm your key credit and all that you can do it so that they are they're opening that key and seeing the file but we don't need to do that okay now how this works okay whenever i push the code to the remote repository nobody else can see it only i can see it okay so whenever i push it to remote it becomes encrypted whenever i pull it back to my machine it becomes decrypted automatically so this is going to be very easy how this file might look for others okay maybe we will push it and then we will see it. or you can also see it by using git lock git crypt lock okay this is a command so git crypt lock once you do this uh, you cannot see any of the files okay let's go there and try to open any of the files so if you notice is all locked this is how it might look for people who is not having this crypt key or people who try to access this from the remote uh, github okay so this is how it encrypts so now i want to unlock it so you can use this particular command so to unlock it so yeah very very simple process so we are trying to unlock this repository with the help of the github key that is located once one folder above the current repository right now all back so now we can also see it so this is how it is guys so it's very very easy to do the push so now let me push the code uh let me push it to the github okay uh i don't know what sort of branch i have created okay it's a master branch so i'll push it to master so now this is being pushed right so nobody else can now see my code so if i go to the test resources if i try to click on it okay even if you want to download it okay may not see so this is how it is so you cannot you know view the file without even decrypting it okay but if there are multiple people working on the project then how will we do it right that might be your question and the answer is is integrating the decrypt with your gpg formats right for someone who doesn't know about gpg please follow this whole instruction i have also had a links from the github how we can generate a gpg key how we can add it to the github project and all that so it's a very lengthy process so a video might be a little expensive for me so you can follow the step by step instructions to get that done right i hope this have uh, this will definitely help you out in maintaining your secrets i'll find find you guys in another great video until then tada bye bye from mohan bye